Jean-Paul Jardin, and he is a pioneer <laughs> in small-scale spirulina cultivation. And now we have over 100 small spirulina farmers in France. Alone, yes. Plus, plus many other ones in Spain soon. Your booklet, the manual for growing spirulina, has been one of the most popular booklets it is, ever written. Uh, it is used by many people. Uh, yeah. Everything is not in the book, of course, and uh, I don't have any. I, have, I don't have all the answers myself. Of mm. course, uh, my other main interest is development of spirulina in the third world. Huge advances are being made in uh, spirulina. For us, it's more or less a delicacy. The spirulina, <laughs> for them, it's a necessity, especially for their children. Now I'm concentrating in uh, in France. Mm -hmm. When you look at the growth of 100 spirulina growers in France just in the last 10 years, where is it going? What's it going to look like five years from now? Maybe 500. These 100 or so uh, producers, they produce only 10% of France's needs right. in spirulina. Mm -hmm. Most of it is important. I'm interested for uh, developing this and homemade spirulina or garden-made spirulina. So, a little bit about your new home system that you have at your house. I can describe it if you okay. want. Yes. Please, yeah. Oh, it's about two square meter in super area. It is thermally insulated, bottom, sides, and for night I can use a lid, insulated lid. So there is practically no thermal loss during night. This is necessary for regions like Normandy or Angers, where I live, because uh, nights are cold, and especially in winter, of course. So in the morning, even in winter, I can have a temperature of about 25 degrees C, using very little electricity. In the spring and summer, of course, uh, I use no, no heating. Right. But every morning, uh, my temperature right now, for instance, in summer now, it's uh, around 30 degrees. Perfect. And um, I try to keep it uh, below 40 during the uh, afternoon, which is not so easy. I have to aerate, uh, shade. There's plenty of light, uh, even when the sky is overcast. So you grow every day of the year? During the winter season, I don't want to use the lamps mm -hmm. because the temperature is there, but uh, the light is not there. I see. No, I start in uh, February. Eating spirulina fresh is a, a very good deal. <laughs> and that's what you do? You eat it fresh? Oh, of course, yes. Uh, it's more like uh, jelly or, mm -hmm. or uh, fresh cheese. Mm -hmm. I really believe in the small-scale homemade spirulina because um, it does need to be dried. It can be eaten fresh. The vitamin content is, of course, higher. Mm -hmm. The taste is much better, and the cost much lower. Oh, the future of uh, okay. homemade spirulina in California. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, good good one. One. Just eat.